फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट इन स्टेट ऑफ एम पी एंड अदर्स एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा वर्सेज नीलम सिंह एंड अदर्स एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा टू थाउजेंड नाइन नाइन एस सी सी नाइन 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 द कोर्ट ऑब्जर्व दैट इट इज़ वेल सेटल्ड दैट पावर ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट टू इशू एन एप्रोप्रिएट रिट अंडर आर्टिकल टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज डिस्क्रिशनरी इट हैज़ बिन फर्दर स्टेटेड देयर इन दैट इफ देयर इज इन ऑर्डिनेट डिले ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ द पटिशनर इन फाइलिंग ए पटिशन एंड सच डिले इज नॉट सेटिस्फैक्टरली एक्सप्लेन्ड द हाई कोर्ट मे डिक्लाइन टू इंटरवीन एंड ग्रांट रिलीफ इन द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ इट्स रिट जूरिस्डिक्शन एम्फासिस वॉज लेड ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डिले एंड लैचिस stating that resort to the extraordinary remedy under the writ jurisdiction at a belated stage is likely to cause confusion and public inconvenience and bring in injustice thus the doctrine of delay and latches should not be lightly brushed aside a writ court is required to weigh the explanation offered and the acceptability of the same the court should bear in mind that it is exercising an extraordinary and equitable jurisdiction as a constitutional court it has a duty to protect the rights of the citizens but simultaneously it is to keep itself alive to the primary principle that when an aggrieved person without adequate reason approaches the court at his own leisure or pleasure the court would be under legal obligation to scrutinize whether the lis at a belated stage should be entertained or not b it noted delay comes in the way of equity in certain circumstances delay and latches may not be fatal but in most circumstances inordinate delay would only invite disaster for the litigant who knocks at the doors of the court delay reflects inactivity and inaction on the part of a litigant who has forgotten the basic norms in the case at hand though there has been four years delay in approaching the court yet the writ court chose not to address the same it is the duty of the court to scrutinize whether such enormous delay is to be ignored without any justification that apart in the present case such belated approach gains more significance as the respondent employs being absolutely careless to his duty has remained unauthorizedly absent on the present of some kind of ill health we repeat at the cost of repetition that remaining innocuously oblivious to such delay does not foster the cause of justice such delay may have impact on others ripened rights and may unnecessarily drag others into obligation in our considered opinion such delay does not deserve any indulgence and on the said ground alone the writ court should have thrown the petition overboard at the very threshold having dealt with the doctrine of delay and latches we shall presently proceed to deal with the doctrine of proportionality which has been taken recourse to by the high court regard being had to the obtaining factual matrix we think it is appropriate to refer 
to some of the authorities which have been placed reliance upon by the high court stop